guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a makeup tutorial on this deep eye green look here that I have created today. The main focus of attraction, the main person today is obviously I am in love with these ColourPop Loose Pigments. I have not used all of them yet. So this is why you're seeing a lot of videos using the same ColourPop Loose Pigment. I will try to switch it up a little bit here, but I really want to use all of them um, because they're just absolutely amazing. So today I used the bowl, which <coughs> is this beautiful, like deep sea green loose pigment here um, uh, from the Kathleen Color Lights collection. Let me see how much I have left to try. So out of 12, I've only tried four loose color pops or loose pigment. So I still have about eight of these to try. So you might be seeing a lot more of the makeup tutorials using these loose pigments because I have not tried them all. I think the next one I'm going to use is the crab because it's just uh, beautiful. Mm. It's like a very beautiful periwinkle, which I'm super excited to try. And also, I haven't tried my own sign yet. Like, what the heck is wrong with me? This is the Water Bear. It's a very deep blue pigment, so I'm excited to try those out. And there's a lot more here, guys. A lot more that I've got to try. i got to get through them all. So, with that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. I really hope you all enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this look here. First, I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Uh, Cameo Concealer, I believe this is called. We're going to use this as our primer today. So just put a little um, bit of concealer there, and then I go ahead and blend that in with this pointed Morphe brush just to make sure it's nice and evenly spread. And then I take just whatever brush I use for my face and apply the rest of the powder on there. Jumping into the ColourPop and I Love Sadae Through My Eyes palette, and I'm gonna pick up this Wild Soul shade. It's a beautiful honey mustard yellow. It's absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful transition crease all over lid shade. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're just going to apply this as our transition shade today for this look. Then I'm jumping into the Mar palette by ColourPop picking up this shimmery green shade and we're going to go ahead and apply this into our crease and with the shimmery shades I just feel like they do apply a lot lighter than matte shades obviously so you can go in a little bit with a heavier hand with these um, but I just like to go back and forth from outer corner to inner corner applying that crease shade I don't want it to be too green yet but I definitely want to put a tone of green in the crease shade for future shadows. Then jumping into the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette, picking up this green shade, which I believe is called Poison. And I'm just using the same brush I was using for the uh, shimmery shadow. And we're going to just basically go over the shimmer shadow with this green shade again just going from outer corner to inner corner and then lightly buffing upwards when we have little to no product left over here i am just taking a regular transition brush and going over all of those shades next i'm going to jump into the magic by juvia's palette and i'm going to pick up this gorgeous emerald glitter sparkly green color and I'm gonna go ahead and buff this into the crease. Um, I like this color in the crease because it really made this look pop. And it also gave a little bit more depth in the crease as we applied the other green shades and the other transition colors. So with this, I just start to blend that into the crease going from outer corner to inner corner and then slowly working my way up when I have little to no product left over. I freaking love this color in the crease. I felt like it just made it absolutely amazing and it's a great lid shade as well. And normally I do put glitter on the lids, but today I wanted to spice it up a little bit and see how putting shimmers in the crease would work and it turned out really, really nicely. Then picking up the poison shade from the Dark Magic palette by Jaclyn Hill and we're just going to lightly go over that pretty emerald shade that we put on from the Juvia's palette. Just a big fluffy brush just 
going over those edges, making sure they're nice and blended out, no harsh lines. Then I'm going to pick up the green shade in the Mar palette by ColourPop and just going to, again, put this into the crease as well. Just to deepen it up a little bit more, I kind of felt like that color got lost in the translation here. So I just lightly go over it just a tad, not too much, but not too little, just enough. Then I'm going to go into the Through Your Eyes palette by ColourPop and I Love Sarai. Pick up that nice green shade and we're going to go ahead and place this all over the lid. Now the main show of today's look is the Loose Pigment by ColourPop, but I really like having this nice green base down before. felt like it just made it pop even more. So now we're going to go in with the Bull and this is by again ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, their Zodiac collection. And I really, really, really love this color. It's so green and so like oceany, if that's a word. Um, and what I like to do with these pigments is put a little bit of either makeup setting spray or just a little bit of some liquid agent and mix it all together. And then it becomes this nice liquid pigment that you can put on your lids and it's easier to blend out to move around and it sticks really nicely to your eyes. So clearly <laughs> I'm loving it. And then I'm going to go in with the emerald shade. Um, I believe that's what it's called in the Jaclyn Hill palette and begin to work this in the outer corner where we left the pretty much the space left we have for our eyes. That's where we're going to put this dark shade, but mainly focusing out in the inner corner. I'm sorry, in the outer corner. And then we're going to lightly blend the bowl and that dark shade together. But I just pick up this shade with a little elf brush. And because it's a dark shade, I just like to pick up a little bit at a time, blend it outwards, and then slowly but surely start to blend it inwards until I get the dark and the depth that I'm going for with this look. Picking up this green shade here, this is where we're going to blend everything together between the bowl and the Jaclyn Hill dark uh, green shade. So I just begin to pack it on to the emerald shade um, that we did in the outer corner and then lightly blend between the loose pigment and the matte shades. And then I'm just picking up whatever is left on my brush and just lightly going over that seam so that way there's nothing harsh about it or crazy like that. Now I'm going to go in with Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I absolutely love this primer, guys. I have been using it over and over again, and there is nothing that I do not like about it. It really, really holds my makeup together, especially in this hot-ass Arizona heat. I love it. So then I went ahead and put on my brows with the Morphe Dip Brow, and I'm going to go ahead and mix two foundations together, the Maybelline Dream Mousse and then the Morphe foundation. I go ahead and mix that on the back of my hand and then start to paint my face like the Picasso art I am. <laughs> I um, actually have been liking this. I just think it blends out really nicely and evenly when I start to brush it on my skin first and then go in with my damp beauty sponge and lightly go over that making sure everything is nice and blended. Um, I actually learned that tech technique from a YouTuber that I watched the other day. Um, I believe her name is Rosalie. I will definitely leave her handle in the description bar below. Go check out her videos because this is where I learned um, a little technique like this to brush it on and then go over it with your beauty sponge. So I absolutely have been enjoying this and if you want to try it out definitely do so because she is on to something here. I enjoy it. Then for Concealer today, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Cameo Concealer, and we're just going to lightly put that underneath our eyes, our chin, and our forehead so we can get some highlight going on here. This concealer really is a dream. It's full coverage. I absolutely enjoy it. However, it does dry down a little bit faster than I would like to, so you kind of have to work a little bit quickly to get this all blended out before it starts to settle in on your face. So just remember that, but overall, this concealer is really, really nice. To set it, I'm going in with the Airspun Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to take this uh, Morphe fluffy brush here and just lightly go over everywhere that I put the concealer. This powder still smells like my Nana. It still smells like an old Nana to me, so the powder, the smell doesn't mind me too much, but it still does very much smell like 
a grandma. <laughs> then uh, for the rest of the face, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder, of course. Nothing new here. I'm just going to go in with a Morphe Y7 brush and begin to pat this into the face. And we're going to move on to a bronzer. The bronzer for today is the MAC and Aaliyah collaboration. I believe this is called Baby Girl Bronzer Powder. Um, I will definitely leave that in the description bar below, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And this bronzer just gives a nice, even color all over the face and just brings the color back so that we look dimensional and not just flat. I love this bronzer. It's really, really nice. To set that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the NYX Dewy Setting Spray just to set all the powders down because I did put quite a lot on. So just let that sink in for a bit. And then for blush today, we're going to go in with the Milani blush. And I'm not too sure how I feel about blush yet. I like it sometimes. I, sometimes I don't like it. Um, I'm still working with it. So, But overall, these two blushes that I have picked out have been working wonders for me. And I really, really enjoy them. So for highlight today, we're going to grab the Bretman Rock and Morphe collection or palette here. I'm going to take the or a fluffy Morphe brush here and just begin to apply this as my highlight for today. I love this palette. I go back to it all the time. It just has great colors and great variety of different things that you can use the colors for. And honestly, this is a really good highlighter palette. Then I popped on some lashes. Now we're going to go in with the ColourPop Mar palette. Pick up that green shade we were working with before and go ahead and apply this to the lower lash line. Um, just working it from outer corner to inner corner. It is very sheer since it is a shimmer color, so just lightly pack it on until you get the color pigment that you want on your lower lash line. Jumping into the Through My Eyes palette, we're going to pick up that dark green shade there, and I'm taking this on a smaller, more uh, dense brush, and I'm just going to run this along the lower lash line as close to my eyelashes as possible. Again, from outer corner to inner corner, just working my way through that. With this color here, we really want to make sure we keep it as tight to the lower lash line as possible. Um, that's my personal preference, but of course you can drag it out uh, further down if you would like to, but I just think it keeps everything nice and grouped together in the lower lash line. I'm going to quickly pop on some mascara. Today I'm going in with the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is an OG mascara that I have been using since high school. And I just cannot get enough of it. It's great for my lower lash lines. It gives me that full effect that I'm going for. Um, and I freaking love it. <laughs> to go in for liner today, we're going in with the Morphe Eyeliner today. And it's in the shade uh, Poolside. And I'm just going to run this in my water line until I get the nice pigment that I am going for. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue color that just makes this eye look even pop out even more. Then for lips, I'm going to line the lips with the NYX Lip Liner in the shade London. Um, I'm just going to outline them really quickly and then fill them in. And then we will go in with our lipstick today. For lipstick, we're going to go in with the ColourPop Disney Princess Collection. This is in the shade Ariel. Freaking love this nude. It's gorgeous. It just makes my lips feel super soft because it is their NYX lipstick. But we'll go ahead and put that on. And then we're going to top it off here with a little bit of the, I believe this is the Glass Lip or Glass Slip by um, I Love Sarayi in ColourPop. Of course, everything will be in the description bar below. But I just like to put this over it because it has such a beautiful golden glitter sheer to it. It's a great, great lip topper. That is it for today's video guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this deep green look that I created here as much as I loved creating it for you guys. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Oh, check out my shirt. Isn't it so cute? Got it at Target, $12.99 at your local Target. Go ahead, check it out if you're a friends lover like me. Um, but other than that guys, I really hope you all enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.